Hey guys, so I'm starting out with this e.l.f. pore filling primer, which I do really like, but it has a super strong tea tree scent to it, so just be aware of that. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y245. And I'm just using this Real Technique sponge to blend it into my skin. Then for some cream contouring, I'm using the Benefit Quickie, Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. That's it. So I'm just applying that to all of the areas that I want to contour. And I'm blending it all out using a Models Prefer Airbrush Foundation Brush. Then for concealer, I'm going in with the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Light. 10 I think it is and I'm also using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC20 so I'm just kind of like doing a mixture of both of those um, because the Colourpop one's too light on its own and the MAC one's too yellow on its own so just applying that to the center of my face as well as under my eyes and then to set everything I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus and I'm just pressing that into all of the concealed areas and for the rest of my face I'm taking the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder in Tan and just buffing that into my skin. Then for contour I'm taking this shade from my Inglot palette, it's one of their Freedom powders and I'm just using an Ecotools Mini Precision Blush Brush to apply it. And then to bronze up, I'm using another shade. I believe this one's 507, but I'll have the numbers listed down below. And I'm just using a Sigma F40 to give my skin a bit of color. And for blush, I'm using one of my Inglot blushes and a Quartz Beauty Angled Blush Brush. And then for highlight, I'm taking this Barry M highlighter totally forget the name of it but it will be listed down below it's very very golden but it is very beautiful considering it is drugstore I was highly impressed so I'm using a quartz beauty shimmer veil brush and I'm just applying it to all of the high points of my face moving on to eyes I'm taking this makeup revolution palette which I was so impressed with I could not believe how pigmented and creamy and blendable all the shades were. So I'm taking the lightest peach and then the lightest brown in the palette and I'm just buffing this into the crease and underneath the lower lash line with a BO4 from Real Techniques. Then I'm taking this rusty brown shade on a Sigma E25 and I'm starting to pack it in the outer corner and then blend it in through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. And then I just go back in with my BO4 brush to blend out my edges. And then I'm taking this shade here. None of them have names, so it's like a chocolatey brown kind of color, but it's still warm. So I'm just pretty much doing the exact same thing and then going back in with the BO4 to blend out my edges once again. Then I'm taking this more cool toned chocolatey brown shade on a Sigma E39 brush and I'm doing the same kind of thing, just buffing this in the outer corner and underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the black from the palette just a little tiny bit of this. I didn't do too much black in the outer corner, but I just buffed it in the outer corner and underneath the lower lash line and then went in with my E25 and blended. And then I just added a little bit more of this rusty brown color into the crease just to intensify it. Then on my finger, I'm taking this taupey shimmery shade and packing that all over my eyelid and a little bit underneath the inner corners of the lower lash line. Then I'm going into this foiled dusty pink kind of shade and 
Using my finger once again, I'm just packing this kind of over the top and keeping it more in the inner corners and underneath the lower lash line as well. And then I'm just blending out the edges with a Sigma E25. And I took the Barry M highlighter and used the lighter shade in my inner corners. Then to waterline and tightline, I just used a black liner from IT Cosmetics. It is called the No Tug Eyeliner, I think. And then I used the Essence. I forget the name of this, but it is an Essence Mascara. I'll have the name listed down below. And then my falsies are the Ilua Lashes in Opulent. Opulent. And then for lips, I lined my lips and filled them in completely using the Makeup Store Nude Beauty Lip Liner. And then I used a Karen Mural Lipstick in blushing rose or something again the name will be down below and that oh no and then I sprayed my face using the covergirl setting spray and that completed the entire look I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one